Hey guys, welcome to my end of year video where I talk about uh, tools of the year. I think this series will be about tools that save me time. This year I focused on buying tools, acquiring tools um, to save me time. Most of my tools were bought on um, like offer up where I, I got a great deal for them. By the way, not one of these manufacturers is sponsoring this video. This is all just straight uh, information, my opinion on useful tools and why I like them. Um, this right here is a USB charger. Uh, you plug it in and it's a smart charger and it allows me to keep first all these in one place on my on my bench and it allows me to have the variety of cables I need from iPhone to all different USB connections for my rechargeable lights and 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 things like that so um, the next thing I'd like to talk about were these lights um, these are quite cheap on Amazon what I like about them is um, this ability uh, this and they're they're pretty bright I really like them and if you push the button you get it on the on the end which is nice if you're looking down in a crevice or something like that really like this um, they're they're fairly cheap um, and I have a ton of them I have like eight of these things um, magnetic base of course I, I like them um, I'd like to talk about these these extensions um, why I like them now there's there's they're called wobblies but there's two kinds of wobblies you can buy um, there's this type of wobbly where it's sort of a two-step wobbly if you initially do it um, it's a wobbly but then if you push on it it becomes a solid uh, wobbly I use these occasionally but if you have a bolt or nut where you have to push on it what happens is all of a sudden a wobbly turns into a solid and you're off so I more than a normal went with uh, went with these true wobblies um, I really like these uh, a lot um, I, I use these usually almost every job because it just you know nothing's you're hardly ever straight on a, a nut or a bolt so I just wanted to show the difference they're both useful but I primarily liked the, the straight up wobblies but occasionally I would use these as, as well um, if you notice um, two ratchets I use these almost every job quarter and three eighths but if you notice there's a common theme between these um, no it's not brand because this is actually a, a, a Matco and this is a snap-on but if you notice they're um, locking flex heads um, I use these a lot because sometimes I want a flex sometimes I want a locked flex uh, sometimes I just want a, um, a straight up uh, ratchet and I just use these all the time if I'm gonna break a bolt loose or something's tough I go to a solid uh, handle but primarily these are what I use these are both my favorite ratchets um, I'm not in love with with this because you know they get dirty over time but it's fine I prefer the, the metal again that's opinion um, moving on uh, this this is great uh, made by OTC um, I use this to clean uh, hubs when I do brake jobs uh, the lug I'm sorry the lug stud um, the, the lug stud will go right in here like this and it'll go all the way down clean the backing of it I then take it off and I clean the surface of the of the hub um, I do this all the time I feel it's important to to do a clean brake job I'm gonna do a video on uh, a brake job many of my friends and and uh, people have asked me to talk about the the levels of brake jobs from a pad slap to a dealer quality uh, brake job and there's quite a difference anyway I, I really like this it saves me a lot of time um, when it comes to time um, I really fell in love with this uh, impact ratchet Milwaukee love it it's great for taking off caliper and um, caliper bracket bolts um, low profile usually I get in there I think only one two jobs uh, the many I've done this year this wasn't able to get in there um, and because of that I use wobblies these are just huskies um, of course I think snap-ons better I've used my friend snap-on they're better quality but for me these are doing it um, 
and I just love them. The, this setup right here just allows me to get right in there and, and break it loose. Just remember, um, even though these are uh, impact uh, swivels, uh, I have found them to apply better better torque transfer if they're straight. If they're at an angle, I tended not to have as much uh, breaking torque, you know, but you know that. Anyway, let's move on. Um, this, I like this ratchet. I have a, a quarter inch adapter to three eighths. And I use this after I break it loose with the other ratchet. And it just saves me time, you know. Sometimes there's no space. I'm just, again, I'm, it's time now. I'm trying to get quicker and quicker at jobs so I can do more or just be able to have chill time. Um, and again, this, I use this a lot, uh, Milwaukee. And I have different adapters. I have a quarter, half, and three eighths. This is a three eighths. Uh, I use this all the time. It hits pretty good. Um, I, I like it. And uh, Mighty Vac, uh, what, what I use this for is for pressure bleeding. Uh, pressure bleeding has saved me a lot of time this year. Um, I also have used vacuum, I think on one job because I didn't have any of this. We did the old school, you know, pedal down, okay, pedal up, you know, the old school way. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on all three different ways. I prefer pressure out of all of it. I can do it myself and I can tell if there's any air in the line. Um, I prefer the pressure bleeding. Lastly, um, I acquired a Autel a couple years ago and I use this a lot. What I like about it, easy to use, small updates are um, more reasonable than other scanners that I have. <laughs> allows me to do classical diagnostics and TPMS. Um, this allows me right over here, uh, maybe I'll do a video on it. Uh, there's a lot of other ones out there, but it allows me to go right up to the tire and read the the sensor. Um, I've had a lot of clients come to me and you know their their tire low indicators on, and they say I filled it up. Well, it's because their sensors were bad. This verified it. Um, I'm going to do another one fairly soon about my Jeep. I won't uh, reveal what's wrong with it. We'll just go through the diagnostics. Anyway, um, I found uh, this scanner to be great, reasonable. Uh, I liked Autel. It's a good product. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. The, again, these tools have saved me a lot of time. Um, time is money, right? As you get on the next job or you can relax sooner. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.